Hello and welcome back to my Astro Imaging Journey channel. So, well, it's been a little bit and I think uh, a couple episodes ago, um, should have seen maybe two episodes ago now, uh, three, should have seen the uh, video about how I came to the decision on what ca camera I wanted to get. And I think I said in there that I had uh, already ordered the Moonlight and I was going to be ordering the, the Moonlight Autofocuser Rotator um, and that I would be ordering the ASI 1600. Well, as luck would have it, money came through, so the 1600 was ordered and the Moonlight came shortly after I recorded that video and um, it's here. So, and the next few videos, I'm going to be wearing the same shirt uh, because, as luck would have it, um, you know, the, the Moonlight, uh, you know, they custom make everything, so, uh, or they make to order, I should say, um, everything. So it took a couple weeks to uh, get that together, and um, by the time it had been built and was ready to ship to me. I had uh, just put in the order for the ASI 1600 and uh, you know it was in stock except for one item and I'll get to that uh, later. Uh, so everything came together and I just figured I'd do all the unboxings and everything in one shot instead of doing you know the moonlight and then installing it and getting it working with the DSLR and then having to, you know, redo everything once again, figure I'll just do everything in one shot. Um, and, you know, so what I'm going to do now is for this video, I'm going to unbox the moonlight light crawler. And uh, yeah, so the next few videos, what I'm hoping to do is the next video should be the unboxing of the ZWO or the camera and filter wheel um, shipment. And then after that, I'm going to do some bench testing. So I'm going to bring in the uh, mini PC, put it on my uh, desk here and connect, connect it up and make sure that I can get the moonlight working as well as the camera and the electronic filter wheel. So I'm going to break that up. I'm going to break it up so that we have um, getting the Moonlight light crawler working. And then I'll do a separate video of the bench testing of the camera. And then another one with a bench test of the filter wheel where I go through and uh, put all the filters and everything in. Make sure it's working. Make sure uh, SGP is uh all set up and ready to go on the mini PC and then I will do an assembly video where I assemble everything on the bench make sure I've got all my spacing and then I'm gonna fit in that 75 millimeter uh, uh, back focus range that I need to uh, get that'll be 75 millimeters at the back of the moonlight and we'll get into that when I uh, do that and then do that video and then I'll do another one where I actually go out and install it on the can or on the uh, telescope. Hopefully, I get all of this, uh, all these videos at least recorded today. Uh, clouds are supposed to break around eight o'clock tonight, so hopefully, I can do a first light later tonight. If not, it'll be tomorrow. Uh, but I'm going to break everything up into uh, shorter videos. Uh, you know, one for each of the parts, uh, just because, uh, you know, a lot of people might not want to sit through a 30 minute video and all they really want to know is, is, you know, how did I get the settings to work for the filter wheel or what have you. So I want to break it up. I'll, you know, and I'll span them out over, uh, you know, a week or two, however many I end up having. And then, you know, that way, if there's anything anybody wants to know about any one of the particular uh, pieces, then we can 
it can go just to that video or those couple videos and we'll be uh, a little bit more user friendly in that aspect. So uh, please stick with me if you're watching this and then you're waiting on the rest of the videos to uh, come online. You know, it's just the way I'm going to do it. So hopefully you guys understand. And uh, yeah, so let's get to it. This video is about the moonlight. So shifted in a decent little uh, box. Got some heft to it. I'm not going to turn that because it's got my address and everything on it. But let's uh, let's get this at least opened up. And if you remember from a previous video. I always like to try to use the knife where I'm pushing away from the body. We don't want to jam ourselves. Looks like we got some instructions and my invoice. So we'll put that up there. And if you've seen any of my other unboxing videos, you know I'm not the biggest fan of peanuts. So let me set this down and see if I can get this out. Okay, so a bunch of little bubble wrapped pieces in here. So let me just set everything off to the side and then I will uh, be back here in a second. All right, so first thing, uh, you know, there looks to be about uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine separate items in the box. Um, Ron, if you're watching, uh, thanks again for everything. The great communication um, and uh, as far as a review of the packaging hey everything seemed to be be good i'm just not a fan of the styrofoam peanuts but uh you know i understand you guys got to do what you got to do so um, what we have in this box is the power adapters looks to be the same or similar uh, power adapter to uh, what I got with the CHL autofocuser. Uh, might need a little bit more power, so it might be a different uh, rating, but um, you know, you've got your transformer and then a slide in on the end here where all your different uh, standards. So like this is the European standard and I believe this one will be the American standard, which is what I would need. Yep. So that's pretty standard as far as that's concerned. Next up, let's see what we got here. All right, this is a 68 millimeter to one and a half inch compression ring. 68 millimeters there. Um, that would be great if I was using a one and a half millimeter or one and a half inch um, eyepiece adapter, but it's good to have it. Okay, 68 millimeter to 48 millimeter adapter recessed. I'm guessing this is very similar to the one that uh, I have on the CHL and this will go into or this would go back into the back of the uh, focusing barrel and then every all the accessories would attach to the M48 threading so or 48 millimeter threading and then we have
the 68 millimeter to recessed to the T-thread adapter. So that would have been good for uh, my DSLR if I was continuing on with that. And then we have WR25 to two inch compression ring adapter. One will not be using that, but again, good to have. And series of series of extension tubes, 68 millimeter threading. Let me put this down. So for example, chances are we'll be using this 48 millimeter adapter. This will be able to go inside there and then if I needed, looks like a two inch spacer, then this would go into, excuse me, into the autofocuser. So I might need one or two of those, probably just one on the out, on the outside, meaning uh, what would be a good term, replacement. I always drop stuff in here, don't I? Um, on the off chance, there we go, the off chance that I need a little extra space. So, let me grab this other piece, and I'm not going to worry about uh, opening this one up. Right now, it's uh, mirror lock knobs and the uh, primary mirror uh, focusing knob. I believe these are lower profile than the stock. Uh, these would be these would be needed if I didn't have the uh, focal reducer on there. Uh, the focal reducer will have this set setting uh, far enough away from the stock knobs. So I um, thank you, Ron, for including those as well. Um, next up is USB cable. Um, Looks like USB A, the old printer style, and a temperature probe. And that was, looks to be pretty much the same as what uh, I have on there right now with the CHL. So that's nice to have a spare of that. And this has to be the focuser rotator. So let's, seems packaged pretty well. There's gotta be at least uh, five or six layers of bubble wrap on this thing. Light crawler LR25 two axis rotating worm drive focuser. So I am guessing this side goes towards the camera, and this side would go towards the OTA. Uh, looks like we got. Nice little control unit on the front. Uh, power, assuming on off, USB and temperature probe. Uh, it's got our markings for our degrees, for our rotation. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be interesting. So I'm going to have to read through the documentation he sent and uh, get this working on the bench. Should be able to see 
this moving if it's if the rotator is in fact uh, working so um, assuming one is the I'm assuming one of these knobs would be for rotation and one knob would be for uh, focus uh, if you wanted to manually do it so we will put this over on the bench and we'll get into the bench test a little bit later with this thing. So uh, with that, I'm going to say thanks again, Ron. Uh, once again, this looks really, really good. Hopefully I can get this thing installed uh, a, little bit, a little bit later here after I get everything set up and bench tested and then um, hopefully uh, sometime next week I will have the CHL uh, autofocuser on its way back to you and uh, for uh, those that aren't in the know uh, he did offer a trade-in value for the CHL that I have uh, I do not I do not have another OTA that I run, so I don't have another OTA period. So that means um, I don't need the CHL autofocuser. Um, he offered a trade-in value and I took it. Uh, that brought me within budget so that I could get both this and the new camera. So uh, I'm super pleased with that. And I wanna thank, thank you again, Ron. I will be getting that CHL back to you hopefully in the next week, uh, real time, uh, YouTube time. You probably already have it by now. So I'm gonna with that. I'm gonna say for this video, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Looks like another awesome product from Moonlight. And uh, yeah, clear skies. Have a good one. Thanks for watching yet another episode from the After Media Journey channel. Really appreciate your viewership. In our upper right, we have the latest video that I have posted prior to this one. Down in the lower right, we have what YouTube thinks you will enjoy. Below is a subscription link. Please hit that like button, subscribe if you so choose, ring that bell if you want to get notified of something new, and as always, thank you, clear skies. Remember to.